I know that some people have been concerned about mass uploading files into Moodle 2 and wondering can they do it the same way they can do it in Moodle 1.9. Well, it's not the same way, but it is very similar and in fact it's possibly a better way of doing it. So what I want to focus on in this video is this specific use case, which is the ability to mass upload files so teachers can then just connect them up to the course rather than uploading them one at a time. Now in previous screencasts I've shown you the repository API working with Google Docs and Flickr. Now the use for the repository API makes sense when files are on other websites. But there is a use for this API which may not have been as obvious. One of the options in the repository section for admins is the file system, which is here. So how does this work? Well, it creates a folder called repositories in your Moodle data folder. Then you can create subfolders in there for each teacher or course, however you want to structure it, and give them permission to FTP or mass upload files into those folders. Now once you have those directories set up, you can then enable them as repository sources. So for example here, when I go into settings for the file system, you can see I've set up some repository sources, one called Gavin, and one called Testir. And if I went to create a repository instance, I would then be able to choose from whatever folders are available and be able to give it a name. So here I'm looking at my FTP program. On my left, I have my files on my local drive. In this case, I have three images. And on the right here, I have Moodle data. So if I go into the repository folder, you can see that I've already created those four directories. Gavin, person A, person B, and tester. So let's go into tester. And let's upload these three files. So there we go. Just select them, drag them over. And now they're copied up. So practically, how does this look within the course? So let's go to a test course I have set up. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a resource and a label so that we can add an image into it. So let's go to add a resource here. Choose label. And now in this label, I'm going to use the image selection here. So click on insert image and let's go find one. Now over here on the left, you have all of the other repositories. You've got Flickr, private files and uploading. But also you've got these new options down here which are those file repositories. So here, when I click on test here, you can see the graphics that are uploaded already. So I'm going to choose the Moodle logo. And here it is. So we just give it a description. And there it is in my label. So if I just save that and return to the course, you can see now that I've been able to select that file from that repository area. So practically, what does this mean? Well, it means that Moodle administrators and server administrators can give access to teachers to upload into those folders within Moodle data repositories. And then teachers can just select those files as normal with the file picker. So that now they don't need to upload the files one at a time. They can still just mass upload them with FTP or however you allow files to be transferred to your server. And that's quite cool, isn't it? Well, anyhow, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. And be sure to check out the other videos on moodle.drupalgardens.com. Thank you.